there! I am Elizabeth Hines from OurPaleoFamily.com and we have made it to Whole30 Day 15! Yay! We are at the halfway mark and it feels really good. Um, I'm ready for the downhill side and according to the Whole30 timeline, starting on day 16, you could potentially start feeling what they call tiger blood, which I'm assuming means boundless energy and kind of feeling like you can just conquer the world. And I have a cold right now, as you can probably tell, so I'm not expecting to feel any tiger blood for a couple days till that goes away, but man, when that cold is over, I am hoping that I have some boundless energy. That sounds really good to me. So tonight, uh, number one, because it is Sunday, so your day 15 might not be a Sunday. I had to start a couple days early on these videos so that I could have them up for you um, ahead of time. So it's Sunday for us, so I try to take it easy a little bit on Sunday. And we actually went sailing today. It was warm and we had a little bit of wind and um, my husband has an old catamaran. And um, anyway, we took it out probably our last time for the season. So it's a little bit late and I didn't want to work super hard anyway, so I had planned. Um, to have bacon and eggs for supper. So that's what we're going to have. We're going to have bacon and eggs. And I know you know how to make eggs. We're going to scramble them because um, even though I like a fried egg, um, scramble for a whole bunch of people is about the easiest way to do it. So I'm not going to show you that because I know you know how to scramble eggs. I don't do anything fancy to my eggs. I simply will take some of my some of the bacon grease from cooking my bacon and put it in the skillet and cook my eggs. And um, also, I'm making an effort to clear out my freezer, and there's a partial bag of frozen hash browns in there from my son is a Boy Scout, and he's been what they call grub master quite a few times this year where he's been in charge of the meals, and um, he had a small patrol one time, and they did not eat all of their hash browns so he brought home this bag. It's just shredded potatoes. So I saw that in there. I was like, oh, let me cook that up. And so I just have about a half of an onion in a skillet with some coconut oil, getting those, um, giving them a head start on some caramelization. And then I'll throw the hash browns in and salt and pepper and cook those up. And we'll have that. And then I'm also going to saute some greens. I have about um, a third of a box of this baby kale and about a half a box of this baby spinach. And I've had them both for a week. So again, I'll take some of my bacon drippings, put them in a large skillet, and just wilt them down. It'll take just a couple seconds. I'll do it at the very end. Um, I'll add a little salt and pepper, maybe a squeeze of lemon juice. That would be really good. Uh, but what I really wanted to show you is baking bacon. If you are not baking your bacon, you're working too hard and making a mess for yourself to clean up. So what I recommend is you get one of these rimmed sheet pans. It has the edge all the way around. This is called a half sheet pan. And don't get it coated with a nonstick finish. Just get a stainless steel. They're nice and sturdy. I've linked to them on my website under my resources page. They're inexpensive. A lot of times you can get them with a rack that fits in. That's how I bought mine from a kitchen supply store locally. Let me stir my onions. So you just want to line your, your baking sheet with something nonstick. I like nonstick foil or parchment. Either one works fine. Um, I find that the nonstick foil works better than regular aluminum foil. And just lay it out so that hopefully they don't overlap. Usually one package of the kind of bacon that I buy will, will fit. I might have to occasionally cut a piece, but um, we'll try to lay it flat. And if you know what, maybe you had a big package and it, and it overlaps a little bit, just overlap it. And after about 10 minutes, check it, and it will have shrunk down, and you'll be able to separate everybody. Because if they're overlapping, it won't get crispy on those overlapped parts. So, um, again, this is um, center cut bacon from Whole Foods. It's their 365 brand, and it's fairly thick. It's not called thick cut, but it's definitely thicker than some of the typical grocery store brands. And I find that baking at 375 for 20 minutes is almost always perfect. So occasionally the pieces will be thinner and it'll take a little bit less time. Occasionally they're thicker, it takes a little bit more, but 375, 20 minutes is, is a good place to start. So I'm gonna get this in the oven and I'll show you our finished dinner when it's all ready. Okay, so I told you that I was browning about a half of an onion and then I added my frozen hash browns. 
And there were a couple big chunks in there. So let me show you what I did. I don't have a lid that fits this skillet. So I just scooted everything to the center. And I have this smaller lid. And I just put it right over and steamed them for about 10 minutes. And then I was like able to break up all of the chunks. And now I just turned up my heat so they can brown. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here with my greens. I was out of bacon drippings in my little jar in the fridge, so I had to pour some off of my bacon that's still cooking. And so I had about a tablespoon of um, my bacon drippings in there, my kale, and spinach. And if I really wanted to speed this along, I could put my lid on this one and steam them, but I've got plenty of time. My bacon still has a few more minutes. This will cook super fast. I just want to wilt these. I just added salt and pepper. Then I'll get out some lemons if anybody wants to squeeze the lemon. And then that's it. They're done just like that. I'm just going to put it in this pan back here because I'm getting some radiant heat from the oven being on. It's kind of vents right here. So that will keep my greens warm and they're still a nice little bit of the bacon grease in there, so I'll just go ahead and get my eggs in. Okay, so the bacon is done. This bacon actually took 25 minutes and it's perfect. It's perfectly crisp. It's flat, it didn't curl up. I wasn't standing at the stove flipping bacon. It didn't pop everywhere. And I will have to actually wash my pan because some of the bacon grease will slip down under the foil. But it, I won't be having to scrub it or anything. So this is such an easy way to do bacon. Um, and then I'll just pour off the grease into my jar. And I got my sous chef over there finishing the eggs, and I'll show you the hash browns. We'll have a super simple breakfast for supper, which everybody loves. Now, when we're not doing Whole30, if I do breakfast for supper, they want pancakes or waffles, and I'll do that sometimes. But usually when we do breakfast for dinner, it's, uh, it's eggs and bacon. Alright, so I'm going to just pour this into my jar and keep it in the fridge for when we need it. Get as much of that as I can. I've paid for this good quality bacon that doesn't have any of the nitrites and nitrates and animals without hormones and antibiotics and all that good stuff. And so I want every part of it and a large part of it is this fat right here. So that's my my cooking pack right there. I don't want to throw that out. So everybody will get a couple pieces of bacon. I'll start the kids with two because if I gave them more than that they would just eat lots and lots of bacon and not anything else. They're not going to love the greens but they're going to have to eat them anyway. And dad gets three. I think I deserve three. I worked hard today, right? So Bacon for everybody. Let me show you the hash browns. They're so crispy and I'm not going to taste them and say yum because I can't taste anything so that would just be lying to you but I had my husband taste them and he said that they, they tasted good. So we'll put some hash browns on there. I hope my son likes these. He, I've never made them before honestly. Um, he just eats some when he's on those camping trips. So. Hopefully he'll be surprised. Can't use quite all of those. And our greens. And he gets just a nice pile of Wilton salad greens. They hate it when it's like the bottom of the salad box and there's some wilty pieces down at the bottom. I'm like, ew, I don't want to eat this one. It's it's wilted and it looks just like this. So here I have done it on purpose, and they're gonna have a whole pile of nothing but wilted greens. They're going to love me. But get all that water out of it and it's just like one bite. So I think they can handle it. 
and then some scrambled eggs and that's it supper's ready so whole 30 day 15 we made it to the halfway point i'm ready for the second half and i hope things are going well for you if you have questions if you want a different kind of recipe just shoot me a comment either here on youtube or on my website and i'll do my best thanks everybody Thank you.